Aside from the new vehicles, we also have the affinity system, or I should I should call it how sim are you system. Is SMC really becoming a dating app? Anyways, uh, roll the intro. Let's go. Hey, it's just a gaming channel. Alright, let's start off with the vehicle first. So this is called the vehicle name the Howard Tank Unicorn and it has been confirmed to be 3 person. Now I dropped down everything on the pension as well as on the channel server to make a note so I hope you guys appreciate it. So we're just gonna scroll down and read them one by one. So again, his name is Howard Tank Unicorn and randomly appear only in the battle royale map as we expected. So it carries up to 3 players with the drivers controlling a vehicle and shoot with a machine gun. As you can see over here, there's one place for the driver to ride just like a motorcycle and then there's one, uh, I think it's a, a mini machine gun and then there's also the gunner which operates heavy machine gun on top so you can see on top there's a heavy machine gun right there so they'll be operating on that and then there's also the cold driver which is the pilot seat where uh, at the side over here you can actually see a pilot seat and what this, pilot, uh, what this third pilot do is gonna be a um, they're going to be using pilot weapons, Hydra missiles, Eon cannon, whatever you name it, that is what they're in charge of. Now, I don't know how good this thing is going to be, so um, there is a lot of weakness, so we're going to go again. Uh, it has a durability of 5000 durability. It's, it's high, but it has its reason, and this is why I list out the weakness. So it succumbs, it succumbs to intense assault. I think it means that it takes more damage or different kind of damage type from mecha or pilot or whatsoever. Again, a pilot is also exposed, I forgot to mention in my note, pilot is also exposed so headshot is vulnerable, being shot is vulnerable, and uh, it cannot be repaired and it is more on straight road or open road only because again, we have our default car, they are able to transform, walk off cliff, but this one is going to be very difficult. I think it is only good for straight or open road like I mentioned. Again, pilot is vulnerable, exposed, succumb to intense assault, cannot be repaired, uh, depending on how rare it is, but I think there is a advantages and also disadvantages. So this is something I don't really hype about. Uh, there's a lot of weakness about it. So yeah, big skip for me. Now the next thing we're talking about is the dating, uh, the relationship. Let's call it the relationship system. So NetEase has released it. Something just like Cyber Hunter or Rule of Survival if you ever play that. Uh, it's called the new affinity system. Now there's gonna be four types of affinity. Now follow me. There's gonna be the, my only concern about this is that there's gonna be more drama in SMC. Like you know, we, we adults are like chilling in the game, but I don't know. Maybe teenagers. <laughs> How they take this system? Four types of affinity. Number one being couple. Number two being mecha buddy. I think it's some sort of like a, your iron arena best buddy or your TDM best buddy. And then there's also best friend. Or maybe, I think it's best friend or it could be a family but according to Google translation, it's best friend. But I really want it to be a sibling so that I can, you know, make Kina my sibling. And then there's also partner. So I don't really understand why Mecha Buddy and partner. Maybe Mecha Buddy is more for the Iron Arena type. But again, you go ahead and decide on what you want to do. So there's actually benefit for this affinity. Now before we talk about how, what are the benefits, let's talk about how you gain a affinity. So you can give goals for, uh, daily for two affinity, spectate and light for one, one affinity per day. The keyword here is per day and team up in animal for three affinity. So if you team up, you lose, you get three. But over here it says team up and make top five in BR or win a TDM for four affinity. Now TDM seems to be the faster way. It looks like they're trying to, trying to promote TDM, people to play TDM for the queuing. Uh, I think it's good for the Steam version, I think it's good for the mobile version as well. Now you can only gain a maximum of 150 per week of affinity. So the total, the maximum is I think it's around 4,000. 4, yeah, 4,000 affinity is the highest level, but I'm going to explain that later. Now you can get bonus affinity by giving special affinity gift and the point do not count towards the weekly limit. So you can give rose or you can give super rich rose. I don't know what they call, but I'm just naming them. So you can give them, and I think there's a limit on how much you can give per week of this affinity rose. So I think it's pretty cool. Uh, it doesn't count to the how uh, per week total per week. It's like a it has its own limit. Now the relationship level. Now I'm gonna list. Uh, you can actually view it right here right now. Now the total like the maximum. 
of the benefit is level 10 but you can actually go more than level 10 but let's go with the level one so for level one you need 100 affinity uh, affinity bash shown in both periodic profiles so you'll be able to show some sort of couple or best mecha bash in the profile and then there's also 200 where you reach level 2 relationships show in team up related pages activities especially the lobby and the landing or maybe in the cards in tdm i don't know and then 300 at or at level 3 is what i'm really surprised so let's say uh person a doesn't have uh bolters and person b have bolters and they both have affin affinity relationship then they'll be able to share among mecha this is what i'm really curious is skin being shared is, if the skin is being shared i am in love with the system and is stickers being carried forward so this is really really interesting so i think you won't be able to change the tech or whatever but you'll be able to use their mecha and that is very very awesome i truly appreciate it Especially to, you know, to guide those new players or anything. I think a mentorship would be better. A mentorship would be better than a mecha buddy. Now 500, which is level 4, uh, you increase your badge level. Level 5, you get exclusive relationship gravity. Level 6, you get a 5% landing bonus when you team up in Battle Royale. So I guess this is like a, uh, like a leak, like ranking. You get extra 5%. I don't know about this one. Because what do you mean by 5% landing bonus? I don't understand like damage whatever they never stated now level 7 you got your bash advanced to level 3 and level 8 is also very interesting I forgot to highlight this one now if you want this I'm gonna be putting it at my community page you can go ahead and check it out now the resurrect like the rest you know you guys call it when someone is knocked down you rest them yeah the time to aid each other is reduced by 10% only for those two people that has affinity and that is so good Level 9, get an exclusive mecha sticker. Level 10, you can name the relationship. Like, you have your bond, you can name your bond, whatever ship you want. Uh, just combine your name, whatever. <clears throat> and after a level above level 10, you get some exclusive mecha sticker every 5 levels. So not really thing. So, I, for intense players, 150 per week. So for intense players, after maybe about half a year, you'll be able to reach like level 4, uh, level 10, level 9, I don't know. but. This is a very interesting thing. You see, the rest thing and the shared mecha is what I'm really looking forward to. So, second week, you can already reach level 3. That's not so bad. So, think of it as a positive thing. And you only need the rest thing at 2000 affinity. That's not a lot as well. So, what do you personally think about this? Leave them down in the comment section below. I personally like the share mecha if skin can be shared. Now, in order to remove relationship, this is what I'm worried about. There's gonna be so much drama. I don't know how kids are gonna do with this relationship or maybe adults or maybe immature people but I'm, I'm trying to be professional here I'm afraid of there's gonna be like a lot of drama but I'm the, I'm, I'm the one that's just here to entertain I'm not into this kind of shit so yeah so you can request a cancellation application and you cannot form any relationship with that friend for seven days after the cancellation so let's say you don't want to be a couple anymore and then you break off and you cannot be a couple again in seven days and you have to be both in agreement I guess the affinity score is retained in the meantime, so but uh, I think you can go back to being friends or you can delete them. Deleting a friend will remove any relationship and all affinity you have with that friend. If the friend is offline for over 14 days, you can remove the relationship without that friend's confirmation. So that's it, what I want to bring. I think they're going to share a video about Hobart 10 Unicorn. I could make it, I don't want to make a video about it. We'll make a video about uh, this tomorrow and then we'll review about, I don't think I have to review the affinity system. Everything is listed right here as said that if skin are being shared. So this is the only thing I want to make videos about and then this is not. So there's also some little notes in the uh, patch note but I'm not going to be covering all that. So Ko, I thank you all so much for watching. Again, leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I truly appreciate you. We're almost to 5,000 subscribers. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for supporting me in making Super Mega Chimney content. And uh, yeah, leave your comment down in the comment section below and hey, just give me a channel.